I'm afraid to go to sleep every night, afraid that I will have yet another nightmare. You have taken away my trust in others and for me to be able to form relationships with anybody. You took away the trust of my parents, which no child should ever question. None of this was ever their fault, but you led me to believe that because my parent was sitting in the room just feet away and you still didn't mind violating that trust that we had in you. You made everyday conversation while you were assaulting me, as well as comments to me which I will never forget. How does this feel? And does this make you feel better, Kaylee? I only said yes, holding back my tears, pain and disgust, in hopes that you would stop. So Larry, I ask you, how are you feeling right now? The audacity you had in doing this to a little girl, especially with her parents sitting in the room, is sickening. I can't even go to the doctor by myself or sit on a patient table without replaying my assault over and over in my head, afraid that another doctor will betray me just like you did. And still today, I question myself whether I know what's right and what's wrong, having a hard time being able to even trust myself. Ultimately, Larry, you made a critical mistake. You underestimated the mind, power, and will of your victims, these amazing accomplished athletes. While we were mentally strong enough to endure your countless hours of abuse, strong enough to endure the pain of keeping your secret, strong enough to be pushed down and repressed by MSU, USAG, and the USOC, we were ultimately strong enough to take you down. Not one by one, but by an army of survivors. We are Jane Doe's no more. I will always love gymnastics, but I will never be able to look at the sport the same because of you. Now as I look to the future, I plan to pursue a career in criminal justice. I'm hoping that by working to put monsters like you away, I might be able to stop the nightmares and start healing. There is peace in knowing that you will never be able to walk the streets again and hurt any other little girls. This monster deserves nothing but the absolute maximum sentence that this court can impose under this plea agreement. Larry, if you haven't listened to one thing I have said, you need to look at me and listen. I only hope that when you get a chance to speak, you tell us who knew what and when they knew it. Did Dean Strample know? Did Brooke Lemon know? How much did Kathy Clagus know? Did Mark Hollis ever talk to you about your treatments? Did anyone on the Board of Trustees know? Did Luanna Simon know? And lastly, did John Getter know you were stealing the innocence of little girls in the back room of his gym. If you truly want us to heal, you will do this for us. Thank you. <laughs>